Hi, Tours! As I'm going to finish the photo video so we record the video now, so uh, this is actually going to be the special video right now. So, uh, this video is celebrating eight and a half years to start smoking. So, uh, today is my half birthday. I'm 26 years old today, so October 3rd, 2017 is my half birthday because my birthday is on April 3rd. So, welcome to the video. Yes, uh, welcome to the video. I have my template out, nice big ass template, the big ass cigar of life. And yes, I'm making the video right now, so no dilly dallying. Now, if you have watched my videos before, my anniversary videos, like six years, seven years since I started, since I joined YouTube, uh, one year, two year, three year, four years since I started smoking, uh, my teeth after one year, two year, three year, five years uh, after a pipe and cigar smoking, you know how this video works. So I will be looking down the template, so I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm not trying to be rude. Rude ass like the big ass cigar. So I'm not trying to ignore you guys. I'm looking down the template. So if I don't give eye contact, that's why. So. Now the video is going to be split into two parts, most likely maybe three parts. So here it goes. So I turn on the iPad. I'm recording on my iPad, by the way, big ass iPad for life. Um, I'm saying hi. I said hi. Um, I'm going to explain how this video works. Like I said, I'm going to be reading off a Word document. This is the Word document right here. And basically it's going to be most likely two parts, maybe three parts. So what, what have I smoked in the last... <clears throat> eight and a half years for tobacco products or used for tobacco products. In the last eight and a half years, I have used cigarettes, cigarellos, tobacco blunts, cigars, premium cigars, little cigars, pipes, pipe tobacco, hookah, nasal snuff, and e-cigarettes. So I have used a lot of tobacco products, hell of a lot of tobacco products. I have used pipes, cigars, cigarettes, hookah, nasal snuff. I have used um, a lot of tobacco products. Now I want to explain... I don't chain smoke and I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So let me explain. So I do not chain smoke. Now I may have tried a lot of tobacco products in my day, big ass cigar for life, but I'm not somebody who, if you're wondering, big ass cigar for my catchphrase. So I may have tried a lot of tobacco products. I may have tried pipes, cigars, nasal snuff, hookah, e-cigarettes, uh, cigars, and all that kind of stuff. But I don't chain smoke. So it's not like I sit with a cigar in my hand all day long and just puff a cigar all day long. I don't smoke like 10 cigars a day, 20 cigars a day. And don't troll me or flame me. But yeah, cigar of life. So also, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So I tried smoking cigarettes. It's something I did stupid when I was 18 years old. I tried cigarettes for like six months, you know, Newports and Marlboros. I would puff them. I would just, you know, this is mainly for my newer subscribers. I think people who are who knew my, know my channel know that I don't smoke cigarettes. I mean, I tried cigarettes for about six months or so when I was 18, you know, eight and a half years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago, whatever. <clears throat> it was just something stupid I did. You know, I would, you know, take a cigarette, I would puff it, you know, I wouldn't even inhale. I would sit on the deck and relax after um, my vocational program. And I would just kind of relax and just kind of puff one or two cigarettes, not one or two packs, one or two cigarettes. So never a big time cigarette smoker. And I quit while I was ahead. I quit while I was ahead. So um, I, so let me explain how I don't chain smoke. Um, I'm not somebody who chain smokes. Even though I've tried a lot of tobacco products, cigarettes, cigars, pipes, hookah, that kind of stuff, I'm not somebody who's a habitual tobacco user. I'm not somebody who's, you know, using 10 hookahs a day or 10 cigars a day or 10 pipes a day. It's like I'm somebody who typically smokes two or three times a day, two pipes and one cigar, or two cigars and one pipe, something like that. I'm not somebody who's like a Sigmund Freud or a, you know, Winston Churchill or George Burns who's like this chain habitual smoker. <clears throat> I, next thing I want to talk about is I quit cigarettes regularly almost eight years ago. So in November 2009, um, when I was 18 and a half years old, I quit cigarettes regularly. So I was never a big time cigarette smoker. It's like I did what it was stupid, you know, stupid ass with a big ass cigar <clears throat> when I was 18 years old. You know, I just, you know, tried cigarettes and I, you know, would, I would puff them a little bit, you know, and sit on the deck and relax. I was never a big time cigarette smoker. You know, I don't smoke anything else big ass cigar for life. <clears throat> and I, you know, I would just try them and I, you know, experimented and that's about it. So I quit them regularly in November 2009. So I quit cigarettes regularly in 2009, November 2009. And I quit them altogether in May 2010. So I quit cigarettes altogether. Regularly means on a daily basis and altogether means, you know, I didn't even occasionally smoke them. And then I just uh, you know, occasionally take a puff off a cigarette here and there from friends, that kind of stuff. You know, my friends would smoke cigarettes, uh, and I would take, like, a puff here and there. So, and I was, uh, of course, I was always of legal age to smoke. So I never, I never smoked underage, big-ass cigar flight. And 
if a few exceptions here and there, <clears throat> excuse me, mm, um, the, the last time I had a cigarette was June 2013, so right before um, the summer 2013, I had a Marlboro Light, or Marlboro Gold, and, you know, that was the last time I had a cigarette, so I haven't had a cigarette for going on um, four and a half years, so going on four and a half years, I haven't had a cigarette. Next thing I want to talk about was what I've never used for tobacco products. So I have tried, like I said, cigarettes, cigars, pipes, hookah, nasal snuff, e-cigarettes, uh, tobacco blunts, you know, like, like gas station cigars, like the gas station cigars. Uh, when I say blunts, I don't mean you know. So I mean tobacco, like gas stations, like Black and Mild, Switch of Sweets, that kind of stuff. I have never used for tobacco products... Uh, chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco, snus, American or Swedish, dissolvables, patches, gum, or any kind of quit smoking aids. So I have never tried the patch, the gum, the inhaler, the, the lozenges. I have no interest in quitting smoking. In the end, if it came down to it, I would rather see myself develop something, get it treated, as opposed to quit smoking. So that's just my personal preference. And I am over 18, over 21 for the last time. So I'm 26 and a half years old. And <clears throat> so... I have never used chew, never used dip or snooze or snus, never used um, any kind of dissolvable tobacco products like the camel sticks, sticks, like dissolvables. So I've never chewed or dipped. Um, my favorite types of tobacco products right now is the tobacco pipe, the briar pipe, and the cigars, nice big ass cigars for life. So I, my favorite tobacco product currently is the pipe. And the cigars, mainly the cigars. I'm really a big cigar smoker right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> my throat's a little bit scratchy. So that's my favorite types of tobacco products. Now, my favorite types of cigars is Churchill, Toro, Robusto, anything with a small ring gauge, quote, small ring gauge. Aside from like Lanceros and very small ring gauges, so I like Robustos, Toros, Churchills, Double Coronas, that kind of stuff. I don't like the cigars that have like a tiny, tiny ring gauge. <clears throat> because those are very hard to suck on. Didn't sound right. Big ass cigar for life. Um, those are very hard to, to draw on. So Lanceros I'm not really a fan of unless they're really packed good. And it's hard to blend Lanceros to get them to smoke really good because they have a tight draw in general. So I like, you know, your average 48, 50 ring gauge. I'm not a big fan of those big fat cigars, big fat ass cigars like the big ass cigar. I don't like cigars that have a huge ring gauge, that have, you know, a giant ring gauge, and you're, you know, they have like a 64, 67, you know, 70 ring gauge. Not a big fan of them at all. Next thing I want to talk about is what I've tried for pipe tobacco. <clears throat> I've tried Aromatic, I've tried English, I've tried Balkan, I've tried Virginia, I've tried Vapor, I've tried Burley, I've tried English Aromatics, Hybrid Blends, Crossover Blends, Burley Periques. I have tried pretty much any type of pipe tobacco you can imagine. So, really, I've tried the majority of pipe tobacco, aromatics, flavored tobacco. I've tried English, uh, aromatic English. I've tried uh, Virginia's Vapors. Uh, my favorite blend is Peter Stoc Stokeby's uh, Luxury Bullseye Flag, which is a vapor. I've tried, you know, non-aromatics, uh, natural tobaccos. So, uh, roll your own pipe tobacco in cigarettes. So, or roll your own pipe tobacco in a pipe, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I have... Try pretty much every type of pipe tobacco there is to try. Um, I want to make a point that I've tried a hell of a lot of pipe tobaccos. I mean, I've tried pretty much every type you can imagine. I have not tried like 10,000, but you get the point. Big ass cigar flies. I have tried a lot of pipe tobaccos. Uh, currently, I have tried 265 pipe tobaccos. That's pretty amazing. So 265. I know some people have tried more. Some people have tried less. That's the first page. So... My favorite pipe tobacco as of now is Luxury Bullseye Flake by Peter Stokeby. That is Peter Stokeby, Luxury Bullseye Flake. It comes in a coin slice, and it has a little bit of Cavendish in the middle and Virginian Preak. So it is medium-bodied and medium-strength, nothing overwhelming, nothing too mild. It is a good, a pretty damn decent pipe tobacco. So big ass cigar pipe, big ass pipe life. Uh, next thing I want to talk about what I've tried for cigars. Nice big ass cigar life. So I have tried... Maduro, Natural, Escoro. So I've tried the Maduros, I've tried the Escoros, which is beyond Maduro. I've tried Natural, I've tried, you know, Connecticut, I've tried different types of cigars. So I've tried your, most, I think the only cigar I really haven't tried much of is the Cameroons. I've really never tried much of those, but the majority of cigars I've tried, the types of cigars, like Natural, Market, Maduro, Escoro, Connecticut, that kind of stuff. Um... 
I've tried a lot of cigars. I want to make a point that I've tried a lot of cigars. It makes big ass cigars life. So I definitely have tried a lot of cigars. I've tried pretty much everything there is in the market. I have not tried Barber Pole cigars. That's what one brand I have not tried. I don't think I've ever had a Barber Pole cigar, which is a mixed uh, filler. Not mixed filler, but you get the point. It's like a like a Maduro and a Connecticut shaped wrapper. So that is what a Barber Pole is. You get you get the point. What it is. Next thing I want to talk about is how many how many different types of cigars I've tried roughly. Roughly, I would say how many different types of cigars. I would say around. 200 maybe, 150 to 200, maybe 300 or so. I mean, I, I'm not a cigar reviewer like, like Brian Glenn, CigarObsession.com. I'm not somebody who's reviewing, you know, three cigars a week and who's tried thousands of cigars. I'm somebody who has probably tried, you know, a couple hundred cigars. I'm not somebody who buys cigars on a regular basis. I, I typically buy my usual uh, brand, which is Corum, because it's cheap, because I'm living independently in my own apartment, and I am pretty, not poor right now, but I'm not somebody who's rich, rich athlete, like the big ass cigar. So I'm definitely somebody who has to stay on a budget, be my rent and my cable bill also, that, and my grocery bills. So I typically smoke cheap cigars, which is, you know, give me your thoughts. But um, I mean, some people are going to criticize me, but it's my opinion, it's what I smoke. So I smoke Corums, and I smoke luxury bowls I like, which is cheap enough. And, you know, I've tried a decent amount of cigars. Next thing I want to talk about, so we're done with the first part of the video, is what I've noticed health-wise. So, obviously, pipe and cigar smoking, while it's very enjoyable, is not healthy for you, as everyone knows. So, <clears throat> I've tried, I've, no, I've noticed the same basic, sorry, that's just my class to me, um, the same basic things. Um, dry gums, dry mouth, dry throat, and that's basically the biggest thing I can attribute to pipe and cigar smoking is dry mouth, dry gums, dry throat, kind of dryness in the mouth, kind of like when you, um, what do you call it, when you kind of like have a cotton mouth. And definitely drinking water helps. So the smoke kind of air tastes and dries out your mouth. And what my subscribers, Rain Dog, said a long time back, back in 2011, I think it was, uh, to drink water because you want to keep the dry mouth under control because it can lead to cancer cell production. And you definitely want to keep drinking water so you don't want to get like lip or gum cancer. So it's scary. And also, I wake up with a little bit of a scratchy throat occasionally. In the morning, I have a little bit, of, a little bit of scratchy throat, <clears> throat> a little bit of hoarseness. Um, the, th the throat does, uh, the smoke does irritate my throat a little bit. So you will notice I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. Nothing like, like I sound like I have throat cancer, but definitely I have a little bit of a scratchy throat. My throat's a little bit more sensitive. Um, definitely more sensitive to like the cold. Definitely more sensitive to like the weather. Uh, I definitely get a little bit of occasional little sores in my mouth. Not bit, not big gaping canker sores, but definitely a little bit of irritation in my lip, in my lower lip from holding the pipe a certain way. Definitely a, a little bit of the irritation to the lip, a little bit of irritation to the gum. And also, if I smoke, if I smoke a little bit too quickly, I'm somebody who does smoke and eat very fast. I'm somebody who a pipe will typically only last me 10 or 15 minutes as opposed to 30 or 40 minutes. I'm somebody who, you know, definitely will um, smoke a little bit too fast and eat a little bit too fast. I'm somebody who definitely is a little bit overweight. So, you know, I'm somebody who, because I am, I do eat a little bit too fast and smoke a little bit too fast and drink, you know, coffee a little bit too fast and gives me acid reflux. I definitely have a little bit of a gagging cough in the morning. I do have, to some degree, I'd say in the last year or so, last year and a half, a little bit of a morning cough. <clears throat> nothing overwhelming, nothing that's going to make me, you know, have like, you know, anything serious, but definitely a little bit of a gag in the morning, a little bit of, uh, and that's probably due to the fact that I lie on my back a lot in the morning. I also do uh, drink coffee very fast in the morning. I also do eat very fast. I also do smoke very fast because I'm, I'm kind of pressed for time because I work at Roach Brothers in Massachusetts, and I'm somebody who, you know, has very pressed for time and don't have a lot of time, so I have, have to go through, through things very quickly. Next thing I want to talk about is my um, smoker's gag or cough from, from uh, smoking too fast. And that's mainly just because I smoke too fast, I eat too fast, I get a little bit of a, mm, a gag or a little bit of a cough. I do have a little bit of a morning cough in the morning, nothing overwhelming, but definitely it's probably things settling the upper airways, the upper throat from um, just being me. So um, next thing I want to talk about is what I do to, to reduce my health risks. What I do to redu my, reduce my health risks are moderation, number one, the, meaning no more than three smokes a day at the most, at the most, the more likely two smokes a day. But um, mo at the most, 
uh, two cigars, one pipe. That's the absolute most I will smoke because last fall, a year ago, I was smoking way too much. I was smoking like three cigars a day, and I had a really bad smoker's cough. Also, it was blowing uh, nasal mucus out of my nose. Yeah, gross. So definitely, definitely, definitely moderation. Also, not inhaling. So pipe and cigars are not meant to be inhaled. <clears throat> so definitely uh, not directly inhaling the smoke into my lungs. Also, smoking in a ventilated space, so I smoke outside because my apartment complex is smoke-free indoors, so there's one designated smoking area outside, so I only smoke outside the designated smoking area or my parents' house outside, so I smoke in a ventilated space. I also don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I never, I haven't had a cigarette for four, almost four and a half years. Um, I also rinse out the water, so every time after I smoke, I have a, a glass of water to rinse out the tar because the tar gets in your mouth. Didn't sound right. And if I rinse out that with water. So I definitely do that to uh, reduce my health risk. Also, practicing good oral hygiene. I'm somebody who has explicitly good oral hygiene. I brush uh, my teeth. I brush my teeth twice a day. I floss once a day. And I rinse with mouthwash twice a day. And I see a dentist twice a year. So I have my dentist check my mouth for oral cancer. Uh, you know, she... Uh, gets my tongue and looks at my tongue, looks at my lips, my gums. So I'm somebody who is doing preventive medicine, a big ass cigar for life. Also, I don't inhale pipes and cigars, pipe and cigar smoke, and pipe and cigar smoke is not meant to be inhaled. Despite what some people may think, and those people are most likely marijuana smokers, cigarette smokers, or hookah smokers, um, or vapors. Pipe and cigar smoke is too harsh for your lungs. Now when I say pipe and cigar smoke, I'm talking about premium cigars and premium pipe tobacco that's meant for a pipe, not rolling tobacco. I'm talking about premium cigars like Punch, La Gloria, Cubana, Padron. I'm talking about premium pipe tobacco like, like Peter Stokeby's pipe tobacco, <clears throat> CAO pipe tobacco. I'm not talking about cigarette tobacco. And it is not meant to be inhaled. And, you know, there's some people on YouTube that tobacco smoke inhaling salads who believe all smoke is meant to be inhaled. But, you know, what? I, it's, it's too harsh. It makes me cough. I do retrohale. <clears throat> That's what I do do is I do retrohale. That probably does increase the uh, nasal mucus production as I do retrohale through my nose. I exhale through my nose to get more flavor. But I do not actually directly inhale the smoke into my lungs. So, this story with some people, some people say on YouTube, smoke is not, the pipe and cigar smoke is not meant to be inhaled. It is more about taste and flavor and aroma and body than about a buzz. So, what do my doctors and dentists say about my smoking? Uh, my doctors and dentists say, your gums look a little puffy. They, my doctor has said, you know, your gums look a little puffy in places, a little irritating in places. Um... My doctor has said when he has listened to my lungs, not going to use his name, but he has said when he listened to my lungs, you know, your lungs sound pretty good overall. And for the most part, I'm not somebody who's prone to upper respiratory infections, aside from ear infections, which I've always been prone to, even before I started smoking. So I'm somebody who, in general, is a very healthy person, only gets sick like, like twice a year, generally. Um, so, and obviously my doctor has said... You know, you really should quit, but it's your choice at the end of the day. <clears throat> what my dentist has said, so my dentist, I'm not going to use his name, um, has said about my, my oral hygiene, my teeth, my gums, as of April 2017. So the last time I saw him was April 2017. And he said, um, basically, or the dental hygienist said, um, you know, again, a little puffy, a little bit irritated in the gums, a little bit, you know, irritated, but aside from that, nothing to worry about, no changes in the soft tissue, no leukoplakia, anything like that, pipe lip, anything like that. So, what does my doctor say? I'm not going to use his name, about my overall health. He said, you should quit. I mean, obviously, my doctor is encouraging me to quit. It is currently one of my health goals at my uh, doctor's office in Massachusetts. So, they are encouraging me to quit, but I'm not going to quit at the end of the day. Again, if it came down to it, I would rather see myself develop something and get it treated, but that's just me. So, and, you know, my doctor has said you should see a dentist regularly, especially because you're smoking a pipe, because it's rubbing against your lip over and over again. Also, he has said your lungs um, sound great overall, no congestion, no wheezing, no sign of like COPD or asthma. The biggest thing I can attribute to pipe and cigar smoking in terms of health is Dry gums, dry mouth, dry throat, that's probably the biggest thing, is having kind of like a cotton mouth on a regular basis because I do um, smoke on a daily basis. I'm a current everyday pipe and cigar smoker. Also, what do I notice in my daily life in terms of health-wise? My throat's a little bit more dry and sensitive, a little bit a little bit of irritation, hoarseness, but nothing overwhelming. I just don't like, hey guys, 
like that, being out of Cigar of Life. Definitely a little bit more sensitive to the cold, a little bit more sensitive to the, um, you know, seasons, that kind of stuff. I noticed my mouth and my teeth and my gums are a little bit more sensitive to hot and cold foods. Not spicy foods, but like hot and cold foods. A little bit more sensitive, like, like ice cream, you know, things, that kind of stuff. They're a little bit more sensitive. So definitely, I would say my teeth are a little bit more sensitive. So that's what I noticed. Also, my lips are a little more sensitive to the cold. Or rather, I try to wear chapstick or lip balm in the hot weather so I don't get chapped lips. I would say... If I smoke too much, especially in the morning, like I said before, I do get like a, a little bit of a smoker's cough. If I smoke too much, like I did last fall when I was on my low-dose medication for my bipolar symptoms, I definitely notice there is a significant uh, cough because that is caused by smoking too much. I notice when I smoke way too much, I do get a uh, cough. I also do get um, nasal mucus and also that gross stuff. So definitely moderation is the key. Uh, what are, what health problems do I not have? And we're getting close to the part, to the end of part one, just by the way, FYI, uh, this is going to be the last thing we're discussing. We're going to split the video and do part two. So what health problems do I not have? So what health problems do I not have? For example, I don't have shortness of breath. I'm not somebody who's going like that. I don't have shortness of breath. I don't have wheezing. I don't have regular chest infections or colds. I only get sick maybe twice a year, maybe maybe three times a year. I don't have yellow teeth. Yeah, if you watch a large dipper, yellow teeth, big ass cigar of life. I don't have stained teeth. I don't have uh, stained fingernails. I mean, everyone should cut their fingernails, but that's gross. I'm not somebody who has um, stained fingernails. I don't have, my taste and smell has been altered. I can still smell things fine. I can still taste things fine after, I think I just did that video back in, I think it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, my, ta my taste and smell has been altered at all. So no difference in taste, no difference in smell, um, no wheezing or coughing, no regular chest infections. So that is, um, one more thing before I end the video, before I end the video and split into two parts. I want to mention that I've noticed pretty much very little in terms of health-wise, which is typical after, you know, eight and a half years. It's not a very long time. Generally, those things take 20, 30, 40, 50 years to happen. <clears throat> so, well, there is, you know, you, you hear the horror stories occasionally. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed pretty little health-wise. I mean, aside from the little bit of uh, irritation in the throat, a little bit of irritation to the gums, the mouth, <clears throat> a little bit of a cough, uh, aside from that, there's not a whole lot because I've noticed... Pretty minimal. I mean, considering I'm I'm somebody who smokes on a daily basis, considering I'm somebody who does do pipe and cigar smoking regularly, I'm somebody who does a lot more than the average user, the average tobacco user, uh, cigar and pipe smoker. I'm somebody who probably has noticed pretty minimal in terms of health. I want to make a point of that that I've noticed pretty minimal things in terms of health. Um, so that's the end of part one. So I will be starting part two pretty soon. Give me your thoughts. Bye.